Oh, righty, we saw in that last example, the graphing when you're in the preferred form is cheap and easy. Yes, now we must address how we're gonna get the general quadratic into that form. We're gonna complete the square. Remember how to complete the square? Complete the square. Yes, leading coefficient one, shove the constants. Half the middle coefficient squared, add that to both sides, complete that square, use the square root property and solve. Okay, sure. So yes, first I suggest that you change f of x to y. Why? Because then it'll be more familiar to you. Plus bx plus c. I want to go through and I want to divide everything by a. Say, yeah. Why? Um, because I want my leading coefficient to be one. Fun. Now. This is an abuse of notation. We shouldn't be doing this with our function algebra. But hey, we're on the edge, and it works, and it's nice, and you're gonna like it. Okay, and then I need to shove my constants. Okay, y over a minus c over a is gonna be equal to x squared plus bx. Okay. That was b over a. Yeah. Now I want to take half the middle coefficient squared and add it to both sides. Here I see my middle coefficient is going to be b over a. Yes. Uh huh. My middle coefficient over two. Double the denominator. B over two a. Yay. And then my middle coefficient over two squared. That's uh, b squared over 4a squared. Yes! And that's the value that I'm going to add to both sides. And here we go. y over a minus c over a plus what you do on the one side, you must also do on the other. b squared over 4a squared. Uh huh. And on the right. You got x squared plus b over a, a, x, uh-huh. And then I'm also adding that b squared over 4a squared to both sides. And on the right, you complete that square. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so then on the left, you'll have y over a. Mm -hmm. Now when I'm adding those fractions, I need to get a common denominator. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to add their numerators. And then this is going to be plus b squared minus 4ac over. Wait for it. Wait for it. 4a squared. Yes! And on the right, that's x. Uh huh. Plus my middle coefficient over 2, b over 2a squared. Plus. Oh, no, that's it. Okay, and now my last step is different than completing the square. Instead of solving for x, here, I'm going to solve for y. And I'm going to keep on keeping on. Oh, yeah. So then, so then, so then, y over a is equal to x minus b over 2a plus b over 2a squared. Subtract off that b squared minus 4ac divided by 4a squared? Yes. Still solving for a. I multiply both sides by a. And then y is going to be a times. Because then I go ooh, ooh, and it's going to reduce with that a. But I got to get there first. b over 2a squared minus b squared minus 4ac over 4a. Okay. So then, we're in preferred form. Here we see, here we see, if we were gonna write this, see, 
this is going to be, this is going to be y is equal to a times x minus a minus b over 2a. I'm trying to get it in preferred form squared plus a minus b squared minus 4ac over 4a. Yeah. All right, fine. If I was going to match the pieces with y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k, I'd see my vertex, regardless, yeah, my vertex is going to be at h minus b over 2a, and um, minus b squared minus, ooh, I guess I could have distributed that in there. 4ac all over 4a. Yeah. Yeah. An alternative form. In even your book, it'll go, it'll go that the vertex is going to be at minus b over 2a and f of minus b over 2a. So we'll get into that. But this would be how to get it in preferred form, generically.